morning people and this is probably one of the largest games you will see in India. We have Arundai playing Dark Matter also known as Nikunj and this is going to be one of the biggest games after the first SE2 rankings. Uh, if you might know Dark Matter is actually uh, one of the top Terran players in India and Arundai after Aksar is one of the best Zerg. And uh, since there are a lot of people who are going to be here, uh, we'd really talk, like to talk about the upcoming finals of the ICGC Championship that is going to be from uh, this Thursday, which is going to be the 25th to the 28th. And that's going to be a big upcoming event. The top players in India are actually going to be there. It's in Goa. So let's see what comes out of this. Now, shifting straight to this game, uh, we see that uh, there's a lot of people who are sitting out <laughs> and um, Arundai says that he's drunk. He's playing Zerg, and I love a pink Zerg. It basically makes it more humane, made, makes it more cute. And Terran is the just the standard blue. Both of them are going for pretty standard openings. Both of them at nine. So there's no sixling rush coming. There's no cheese coming till now. Um, the scouting probe comes in on the standard time. There's a lot of trash talk that's going on here. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of suggestions to go for one th one base Thor and Banshee. And I don't I keep saying he's drunk. I don't know what's going to happen here. The, S the supply depot is complete. We have about 12 probes, uh, 12 SCVs here. The drones scouted everything. Here comes the initial drone. And this is a pretty standard opening. The overlord just goes and scouts. Second overlord is moving into a direct position here to go ahead and scout later in the game. Interesting move. He is act. He went extractor before spawning pool. I think that's just to go ahead and try and get Zergling speed on time. And which would say that, especially he, since he didn't go for an expand, this is going to be a big Zergling push. Well, let's see what happens out of it. Um, 16 to 17 harvesters. That's fine. Interesting. Let's see if he. Oh, this is going to be such an Imba play by our dear Dark Matter. He's put his barracks, a proxy barracks, and this is interesting because he's definitely seen this barracks here, and he doesn't want to, he sees one here, he sees the second one here, he doesn't think this, he thinks this is a two barracks play, but this, my dear friend, I believe is going to be a big three racks push, not a two racks push, remember, a three racks push. And with, uh, I don't know what he's doing with the gas. I really don't know what he's doing with the gas. Uh, the Reaper is going to come, and let's see if he actually noticed this SCV move from here. We don't know what happens. This is going to be interesting. This is three tech labs. I think this is going to be a big Reaper push. Uh, he's hidden a roach warren here. Maybe the roaches should pop sometime soon, but there's nothing really happening for him at all here. Uh, interestingly, two more reapers coming in. He's supply block. I don't know what he's done with that supply there. So let's see if he actually scouted these two out. Uh, but he's still supply blocked. And now he's, he's fine now. SCV standing here. This might be the fame. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Let's see how what happens out of this. Oh, that's going to be a bad push. Now let's see what his response is going to be. These two are just standing here. There should be a third one coming. There's two more coming in. Well, if they'll just pop here, then it might be a very interesting time to go do this. Oh no, he, if he comes here, oh, he got saved. <laughs> he got saved. 
and they just walked by. Oh my god, just bad micro. Oh god, I, this guy is just going and losing it. Oh god, the queens. Are going here. Let's see. <laughs> Everyone's talking about the drunk Zerg. Well, well, let's see what happens. Um, if you see this, this is. This is just going to go back. Tech lab's gone. And that's one Reaper, one Marine, two Marines. Um, this is about a fair army. Back production. This is. It's going to be an interesting push. So let's see what happens. I think there's this initial Harris is finishing. I have no idea why there are 50 overlords. Supply. So here comes the next Reaper. And let's see if he actually scouts this out. Wait, he did. But. Oh, don't move the queen! Starts his. Oh, let's see what happens. He's still going Reapers. Oh, he cancelled the Reaper finally. Eight Zerglings coming in. He still hasn't scouted this part. Look at him, he has no that idea that's right. happening. So, let's see if he can just observe someone. Can but there is no observer here. Here come the circlings. Four more circlings coming in. Speed's just gonna finish. But he's now if you look at the unit composition. Oh and there's the scout. Excellent. There goes the scout. He should go just wrap this up really fairly quickly now. Oh, not on creep. That was not on creep. This just doesn't finish. How bad? You see that he has no air. He's just going to fly this. The interesting part is going to be what's going to happen now. The entire game is on this position. I'd really want both parties to really Let's have a blast. do some scout, some level up. So there is map control, but that's just really vision control. But he has no idea what's happening here. And if you look at what's really happening here, he's just going for his expand. There's a bunker here. And Head on, complete. And he doesn't see it. He has no idea. Let's see if he comes out of this good scout actually coming in. So he sees this, he comes here. Hopefully he should have seen. Yeah, he sees it. Let's see how the Zerg responds. He has 26 Zerglings, a Roach, two Queens. He has four Marauders, 14 Marines. So this is pretty much a Marine Marauder build. Um, and he's not moving anywhere. The Stimpak's coming in. There's Terran weapons. Ooh, burrow and pathogen glands. Ooh, nice. And here comes the starport. I guess it he'll just top swap over with the reactor to the factory. Get enough. This is gonna be a big marine marauder bio ball against this. And just to go and make sure that's gonna happen, he's sending in some of his Harris army. And let's see what how he can actually stop against this. I don't think with after stim finishing this is going to be big. 
Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh. Back off. Good. That's it. That's a waste of should just still pull, pull back. Still pull back. Still pull back. Should just wait. Those guys are not healthy right now, and this this one more stim will be sending them over this. Exactly. So Blas got it right. Just make him stim one more time. And then this, but that's nice. He's expanded on the back of this. Uh, this this push is a little too late on the basis of that. He's dead. He's wrapped up. That those just guys died. And the problem is these are just Zerglings here. He, I know he's going in Festus, and that's going to be an interesting thing. Hmm. Uh, the upgrades are starting coming in, and he builds his favorite Bane Link. Now, I actually wanted to go ahead and talk to a lot of Zergs who are out there. Um, and this is just something I'm just going to throw out as part of this map. I know Bane Links are a really cool unit, but my view on banelings is it not microed properly. You do banelings if you're really good in the micro, but if you're not, you have to understand the unit dies, it explodes, right? So it, the unit's gone, um, and he takes X number of units with another unit. But is it worth a baneling bust in front of this unit? Assuming there's zerglings coming in for 50 minerals, that's two, and then there's the gas. I just want to put it out to the Zerg and say, does that make sense? 